Hey guys, it's Curlab, and this is going to be another coding time lapse, except for the fact that this one, shoof, yeah, is not going to be in a uh, time lapse. I'm going to do this, um, I'm going to do this in real time, so I can sort of explain better as I go along. So right now I'm just creating my main class, which is, well, what starts everything up, and then there'll just be controllers later and all that, and right now I need to import... Uh, the spigot library that I need, which I probably ought to update, since, well, yeah. Then we just gotta extend that, and then we, uh, and then we do make our on enable and on disable uh, methods, so that way everything works mostly, and then. So my register commands and my register events uh, methods, those are just, um, they are just to keep the on enable method clean and it helps separate between commands and events. So I don't have to think about it. And then there's their respective packages to keep things even more organized. And okay, um, uh, death. If I can spell right. Nope, I can't spell. There. I'm going to do a just a normal uh, git command death game. Yeah, the purpose of this one is just going to be you're trapped in a box with a bunch of zombies and you just gotta survive as long as you can. Oops, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do that. I always redo these uh, arguments because I, I'm used to the way that... Or I'm used to the other way instead of actually what they give me. And if there's a template that I can edit, I don't know where it is. Now what I'm doing right here is I'm just checking to make sure that uh, when the command sender, so if you when you send when you execute a command on a server, it uh, like you're registered as a command sender, and um, if you're in the console, you won't register as a player. So this is where I just put in the check to say uh, only players may use this command. Because there's a uh, what I'm going to be doing requires the player to be actually uh, it requires stuff that only the player has and not the console. And then here I'm just I'm just changing sender to player so it makes more sense and it's more natural to type instead of instead of sender dot send message. Uh, it's easier just to say uh, player dot send message. Make it just makes more sense. So, now uh, what we're going to do... Huh. Don't know what that was. Don't need it. So now... Yeah, this is how I visualize my command. Or, like, how I do commands. So, death game join. Uh, death game configure. Probably just going to spawn right here. And then death game... Uh, start. So, actually, what I'm what I'm going to do is if uh, command label that equals ignore case dg dg or uh, equals ignore case death uh, game. So that way, instead of having to type death game, you can just type dg. Now, if args uh, length equals 1, 
and now I'll say if args dot length equals two, then else. Uh, okay, just going to put something up here for the fun of it. Uh, private string um, no sin. I would use my kcore thing, but I don't feel like dicking with it right now. So equals chat color dot red. Uh, invalid. Oops. Syntax. All right, there's that done. So now I need to do for down here just player dot send message no sin, then return true. Yes. Uh, now um, if args dot zero 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 uh, equals ignore case um, configure and if no else if our zero god damn it not used to this keyboard I just got it like an hour or two ago yeah uh, join oops else There. Same over here, except not as many arguments, just if args uh, zero. I can't even remember what the hell it was. What was it? It was, okay. Yep. Uh, that equals ignore case. Whoops. Fucking up already. Nah, nah, I already did that. Configure then if args. One that uh, equals ignore case um, spawn then else else I always got to add in the uh, the no syntax or the invalid syntax thing so you know when you fuck up and then the re the return true is just to make sure that the damn thing works and then. There now I need a game manager class. This is just sort of like where I'll just keep everything. I wouldn't recommend what I'm doing. Okay, just set that like that. I'm gonna go back over to death the game or death command and then game manager spawn equals player dot get location and the way I'm doing this is there's no nothing's being saved so you're gonna have to reconfigure it all over again yeah, spawn location configured then up here I need another thing except this time it's going to be an array list what and an array list is just something that holds whatever you specify in this case where it's going to hold players Ugh, excuse me there got that set so now in this when you do join it'll go game manager oops uh, players dot add player okay and then uh, you are now on oops now on the player list list I'm not much fun when I'm doing things uh, real time except when I'm actually like playing game but I don't know I'm bored. I didn't feel like playing Area 51. Probably, no, no, tomorrow's Wednesday, so that'll be another Dark Souls where I probably kick the piss out of the Moonlight Butterfly. And then Thursday and Friday, I, I will probably do Area 51 unless I decide to do something else. Yeah.
Now, here is... what the fuck? Oh no, not configure, I want this to be start. Cause, yeah. That, that, that would have been awkward. Now, here we can just go public, static, uh, void, start, and public, static, uh, void, stop. Uh, then some other stuff I'll, I'll I'll think about in a minute. And another thing we're going to want is a um, game clock. And if I remember correctly, it's extends bucket runnable. Then we just implement the methods. Yep, implement that. Uh, now in here we want um, public int counter equals zero. Zero, I said, damn it. There. Then for now, just be counter plus plus. And then, um, oh yeah, in here we want public static uh, vo void spawn, which would be, um, Spawn dot get world dot spawn spawn zombie dot class. So what that does is it just spawns a zombie at the location of spawn. So meaning you got a little bit to get the fuck out. Actually, I'll probably set it on a one second delay before shit start hitting the fan. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Uh, start would be game manager dot start. I'm doing this so bad. Don't 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 copy me unless you're doing it for uh, like research purposes or whatever. Got to learn somewhere. Register if commands and then register the events. I always forget to do those. And now here we do um, uh, for player uh, p in players. Uh, p dot teleport spawn and then also p dot send message game starting uh, then I also need public static bucket task s oh no 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 forget that forget that forget that we're gonna put that down here uh, uh, bucket task. Actually, I could put this up here though. Uh, I put that there. Then G equals new game. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. Um. Oh uh, shit, 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 shitting shit. Oh, oops. Dot run task timer. Then here's the part where we need a main class plugin. The uh, public game manager. Uh, main class instance uh, instance equals plugin. Then in here we need um, a new game manager. Uh, then this. Whoops. This. Fuck! I got five fingers. There. Now that won't be whining. Ish. Damn it! I did that backwards. Plugin equals instance. There we go. Then we just do plugin uh, twenty tick delay, and then a twenty tick repeating period. Right. What's the itch, bitch? Oh. Oh wait. Oh, you 
you're gonna be fine, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're good. We're good. And also, game equals G. So on stop, I can get just G dot. No, G. No game. Yes, yes, yes. Is right. Game dot. I'm gonna just say cancel. I'm pretty sure that's the right thing I want. Then uh, spawn dot get no. Or uh, plugin dot get server dot broadcast message. Uh, players. No, the players lasted for. Uh, game dot counter. Right? No. Shit. Um. Can I just uh public int get counter? Return this dot counter. Then here get no shit. Ah. Shit, shit. Okay, let's just put this here and see what happens. Whoops. Fuck. There. No. Ah, I got dim it. Keep breaking shit. Let's just do it that way. Get. Huh. <laughs> what if I do this? See, learning new things. Over. Right. Public void. Cancel. And uh, bucket dot get server dot broadcast message. And we'll just go into here. We will comment that out, but take this and then copy that in there. And there. Counter. Seconds. Let's see how well that works. And also, um, uh, okay. So we got the start. We got. We're going to try to stop eventually. Then game manager dot spawn. Oh yeah. Um, this dot counter. Case there's multiple running, which shouldn't even fucking happen. All right now onto the events. Um, death listener. That's not how you spell listener. You spell it like this, silly. Implements listener. Uh. Yeah. Public void on death player death event if uh, game manager dot players dot contains a uh, player nope e dot get entity then um game manager dot Players dot remove e dot get entity. Whoops. Like that. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Yep. 
and then we do game manager dot check because why not public static void um check see I know what I'm doing mostly um if Players dot size e equals zero. Then stop. Okay, you done pitching a fit. Okay, now new Java class. Uh, zom zombie listener. Now here we need an entity combust event. If e dot get entity instance of zombie, then e dot set cancelled. True. So what that does is it prevents any zombies from lighting on fire. Yeah, this is poorly put together. If, if I was actually going to take my time with this and do it right, I would have put this into a time lapse. I even might put it into a time lapse, but we will see. Now in here, we need to we need to register our events, because I always fucking forget that part. Uh, plug in manager p, uh, pm equals get server dot get plugin manager, then pm not palm, pm dot uh, there's our events new uh, death listener this then pm dot register events new zombie listener this okay there's that probably gonna I probably already fucked up but okay then src new file plugin dot y ml then we do that then uh, name death game version zero. I always put zero if I'm fucking around, which half the time I am. Main death game dot uh, main class commands. Here we have death uh, death game usage descript alias is at least I think that's right then DG hope that's right if not I'll have to go look it up and boy wouldn't that be awkward now here we got to go put, put our artifact together dude uh, death game we put the compile output in there, we go to file, we open up the plugin YML, we apply it, we build, then we go to build it. Then here we've got death game, out artifacts, death game. Then we just drag it into here, and then we start up. And play multiplayer. Ah, shit. I saw that. You fucker. On enable main class 14. It's on 14. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, what else? Plugin cannot be null. Huh? Did I fuck up? I might have fucked up. Yeah, so this can just go fuck off. Fuck, needed that. Uh, look. All right, 
But now... What are you bitching about? <clears throat> so it said the main plugin cannot be null. Well, made some changes to it, so let's, uh... I, d I even doubt it'll work, but... Hmm. NG. Yeah, that's right. It starts on its own. Although G can equal game. And I'm pretty sure it's going to give me a redundant. Nope, oh, nope. Game can equal G. And then it's going to give me a redundant thing. So, inline variable. There we go. What is new? See? IntelliJ is smarter than I am. Uh, okay. Hmm. Did I do that right? I hope I did. Let's build another one. This is plugin development, children, or ladies and gentlemen, or all of the above. Just go with all the all of the above. Startup. All right, no errors that time. Let's connect. Oh, whoops. That didn't happen. And I don't have my shaders on because I was fuck, screwing around. I might turn this on later. Now, um, just uh, DG. Yes, DG. Uh, configure spawn. All right. DG join, and then DG start. And there we go. Zombies are starting. I don't. Oh fuck! I forgot to put a return true somewhere. Now I don't have. Nope. Okay. Give me a second. I gotta. I gotta gear up. Doop 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 doop. Cause I'm a cheaty bitch. La, 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 die. God, they friggin' built up quick, and I forgot about the new friggin' combat system. I don't play vanilla Minecraft. Uh, yeah, I don't play vanilla Minecraft too, or very often. God, they just keep piling on. What the hell? Alright, let's see if the other thing works, though. Kill me! Kill me! Come on, do it! Do it now! Didn't fucking work. I really should set the spawn over there. Hi, bitch. And I do have my sounds off. Options, music and sounds. I do have my sounds on. Huh. It just seems that Minecraft never really likes to like put out sound. Don't know why. So Okay, so we know the thing stopped and my cancel override didn't work. So oh wait, can I put it as a static thing? I believe I can. I could, but no. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Know exactly what to do. There we go. But now you're thinking, but Curry Lab, there is no, uh, there is no, uh, there is no uh, counter in the game manager class. Uh, there's going to be. Then uh, game manager. Oops. Pub. Pub. Uh, public static. Int. Counter. Uh, equals zero. And then we can just do this. For. Uh, 
counter seconds. Yes. That should work. You are erroring. Oh, whoops, I forgot to put a semicolon. Semicolons are important. Now we can just stop you. And then put all of this back together. No, fuck off. Plugins. Death game. Slide over. Replace. And go back out and start up. We start that. Doop, 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 doop. Alright, let's start it up. I'm going to fall. No, nope. okay. Yeah, stupid multiverse. Oh, uh, freaking. Now I gotta do all this again. Oops. Then, you join, then, DG, start. Okay, they're in mode one. Nope. Zero. Ah, come at me, motherfuckers. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, do it. Do it now. Come on, all right, yeah, do it. I lasted for 22 seconds. DG, join. DG, start. Game mode one. Ha! Screw your rules. Your rules have been screwed. And ain't shit you can do about it, son. Oops. Let's see just how long. Whoops. Let's see just how long. Uh, let, no, let's see if the thing actually fucking works. So I'm gonna show you my 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 place. So we've got this is where Freedom Sheep was. I may have burned them, but that's 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 beside the point. Then we got the well that leads into uh, a place. It leads all the way over here. A huge underground place that you can't see because YouTube compression murders this shit. Alright. And over here is a thing. And over here is another thing. I may have hit these with explosive snowballs. And over here is this thing. Hmm. Yeah, sandstone and uh, packed ice. Not, not too bad. If you're going for like a uh, sort of like a sky type looking thing, because it sort of looks like it. Though options, video settings, shaders. My shaders! Yes. And if you know how to read this me uh, menu, you'll see that I have a GTX 970 in this beast of a computer. It's quite nice. Ah, yes, the shaders. Alright, how are we doing? Oh, now sounds are working. Alright. Oh, one of them was a chicken jockey. Okay, then now kill. I lasted for 149 seconds. Yep. Yep, so that's that. I could probably. I could. Uh, actually, I could definitely turn it into a proper mini game. I mean, it's something that I wanted to do for a while. And, well, just never got around to it. And then when I got this keyboard, I freaking love the sound of it, though. Just, just listen to this. Oh, that's what you've been listening to the whole damn video. I'm surprised you even watched this far. But hey, props to you. I mean, if this is the kind of thing you're into, then, ooh, yeah. Good on you. If you want to learn, I really wouldn't tr ask me to, but, I mean, if you want me to learn, or want me to, like, do tutorials and shit of this, I suppose I could try. I'd probably, I'd probably have to work on my, uh, my live commentary and focusing on talking and typing at the same time, which usually doesn't work unless I'm like really concentrating on a problem. But yeah, other than that, that about sums this one up. Um, well, yeah, see ya.